Canadian Bulldog from Wrestling Merchandise and Memories. That's merchandiseandmemories.com. And welcome to another edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. Folks, are you ready for the biggest party of the summer? I know I am. SummerSlam is just around the corner. And we're going to, in the next two weeks, we're going to unbox 10 different SummerSlam Elite figures. And uh, we're, we're kind of going backwards here. So the latest set is going to be this week. And then the year prior is next week. Don't ask me. Don't don't ask me about my business. I There is a method to my madness, I think. But today, in this edition, you're getting the 2024 SummerSlam Elite Collection. As you can see, there's four figures plus a bonus figure hidden in there. And I really do like um, the idea that with these pay-per-view themed sets you you know you get an x something extra to put together and when we did wrestlemania some time ago it was uh nicholas was the 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 bonus figure today it's going to be his father that's all i'll say on the matter right now but let's get started here because we've got a lot of figures to get to we're going to start with the undertaker and this is a really interesting one i will say just off the bat I don't need any of these particular figures. Like I've got all of these characters in my in my collection at some way, shape, or form. Uh, this I don't have this year though. This is the this is for their rematch from WrestleMania 30. The Dead Man defeated Brock Lesnar, exacting revenge on the man who beat the streak. And what year is this from? Let's see here. Does it say what year it's from? I don't know. It doesn't look like it says that. That's fine. We'll figure it out soon enough. I want to say this is 2013, 2014, something like that. While I try and figure that out, I'm going to open this box up and we'll see what we see with the dead man. The dead man, the undertaker is here. And, you know, like most, I think, figure collectors, I have, you know, 220,000 different undertakers. Uh, check out our wrestling figure database for for more specific details on that. But you know this is this isn't a bad one for almost like latter day Undertaker, like towards the end of his active career. He's got the super creepy face, and it gets even creepier. He's got this the very dark hair, which I would have to consider as a as a dye job. You've got his full complement of tattoos, although not really in color on here, and I imagine that would kind of break the bank. If indeed his tattoos have color, I can't remember. Um, and then you've, you know, just got a very plain black singlet and pants and boots. So there's not a lot to this Undertaker figure, but it doesn't need to be. That's, I mean, essentially what he would have looked like in 2013, 2014, whenever this, this particular SummerSlam took place. Uh, you've also got a hat. And let's see if we can pop it on really quick. It looks it looks backwards to be honest. Let's let's try it the other way around maybe. There, that is more Undertaker-esque. He's got the hat. I'm not sure he's going to be walking around with this hat when I'm sort of posing him. Uh, maybe if he's attending a party, you know, that's fine. I do like the, the level of detail. He's got those those uh, MMA style gloves, and then in addition to that, he also comes with uh, another pair of MMA style gloves. And uh, so you can do the, the C-grip action. And then this is the, <laughs> the best part of it is this head. And why is this head important? I'm gonna show you in one second here. Because if you pose him like so, he is doing that famous Undertaker laugh at Brock Lesnar from that year's SummerSlam, which is such a cool, you don't see this very often or at all with Undertaker figures. So. You know, I need a Brock Lesnar. Maybe I think I've got one lying around right here. So you put Brock, he's sitting down, he's laughing. I, I can't uh, show the laughing here. And then you put the dead man almost like side by side. And he gives that look to Brock and you see shit is on at that point. So that is a, a very cool, fun, additional element you can get with this this version of the Undertaker. Uh, I like it for that and and really that alone because I mean other than that there's nothing 
you know, particularly special about this version of the Dead Man, but it is, it's, it's a great, great head scan. So full marks for that and uh, for, for giving us something original out of the 220 million under Undertakers we've got. Moving right along, our next figure in the series is Lex Luger. And this is kind of exciting because I've never had in this form factor a made in the USA Lex Luger. And I, I do have the, the retro version, which is fine, but this just looks so, so much better. Let's see here quickly on the back. There is no explanation. There's nothing. It's just Lex Luger, take it or leave it. This is, of course, when he would have uh, challenged... Uh, Yokozuna at, I want to say, SummerSlam 1993, the year of the Lex Express and all that. So it's a, it's a big period in his career. Let's crack it open. Made in the USA Lex Luger is for real. This is fantastic. I have, I, like I said, I have the retro figure of this, but obviously there's so much more detail in this version of it. So let's, face scan is good because it's just this like sort of straight ahead, I don't give a shit look on Luger's face, which was very, very accurate for the time and for most of his career, in fact. But then you've got all the, the crazy stars and stripe details. So you've got on the uh, on the wristbands here, you've got on the uh, around the, the bicep. Then you've got this giant oversized, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, an elbow pad, that's the word I was looking for, that is also a stars and stripe deck. And if you don't remember, the reason he had this on is because he had a metal plate in his forearm. So the Jack Tunney, I think, made him put this on. So it, it's just cool and how sort of large this is. It's very accurate to the time. And then continuing on, he's got the Stars and Stripes gimmick on his, uh, you know, uh, part of his trunks, his knee pads, his boots, uh, then the white boots. So, I mean, this is this is a very cool rendering of Luger from that time. Like, I mean, like 10 out of 10 for accuracy on this. This is this is phenomenal. And then just in terms of, uh, he also comes with extra sea grip hands, as does the Undertaker, if you need them, if you're if you're attempting to maybe body slam Yokozuna, I don't know. But uh, I, I really like this figure. I think this is, uh, for, for an elite especially, this is a lot more than, uh, than we bargained for here. So I'm giving this one full marks. It's time for the big red machine, Kane. For his SummerSlam Elite debut, well, I don't even know if it's his debut, but uh, SummerSlam Elite figure at least. Um, I don't know offhand what year this is, although I'm going to say like 2009, 2010, when he was uh, WWE Champion or World Champion. I know that's not super specific, but uh, that's that's very cool. And let's see on the back. I don't think they give us anything more than that. No, they just give him his... his his happy smiling face here. So let's let's crack open the big red machine. Through fire and brimstone, that's gotta be Kane. Let's take a look at this this head scan here. This is top notch. Like I don't know if Mattel has ever done a Kane head quite this good. They may have, but I certainly don't have it in my collection. Most of my canes, if not all of them, are are the uh, the mask version. So. Just taking a look at this, it's so like lifelike and creepy and you love the, the gap in his teeth there. But beyond that, there's a lot to love here. You've got, again, two big elbow pads. He could, he could swap with Luger if he wanted to. He's got one gloved hand, one without, just with the uh, the black wrist tape. And then you've got this like crazed pattern of like uh, red stitches on black here throughout uh, and pure black boots and uh, just very, like, I don't I don't remember the specific match. I want to say he was against Rey Mysterio here, but I could be wrong. Um, but regardless, this is a great piece of, uh, uh, a, 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 just a great moment in time for Kane. It, I, I, I can't get over the realism here. And very, very glad I picked it up. Uh, you also do have two alternate hands here, and it's really just to, to swap them around. So you've got the one glove and then the one hand glove if you want to you want to switch which hand these chokes in this. Uh, but this is this is another and then rounding out our collection we've got SummerSlam Elite X-Pac I don't remember the year this could be 98 99 2000 something like that I believe this is when he took on Jeff Jarrett in a hair versus hair match at SummerSlam yeah I could be wrong but that's just what it looks like to me and then on the back let's see if we get any other clues nope Undertaker was the only one who got a write-up this this time round, but uh, that does look 
fairly accurate. One thing I, I do want to note, you see in the photo here and in the image on the front that our friend X-Pac has a, a red bandana. Here on the figure, he doesn't have one. Like, what's up with that? Anyways, let's crack it open and let's find out. X-Pac. The D-Generation X member, the veteran of the squared circle. Um, I have a few X-Pac figures, including his, D his like, Camo D Generation X from the Legend series. I, you know, I think I like that one a little bit better. I am bothered that he doesn't come with the the bandana. Now that I look at it, like they, sh like what would that have cost? They could have even like, had it molded on. It didn't have to be a removable piece or anything. You could have just put it on his his forehead here, and I think everyone would have been happy. But you've got the the exclusive like X Pac logo here on his chest, uh, and then you've got black and and red and silver accents on the boots. Um, yeah, I mean, so it, it, it's fine for what it is. Like, this is definitely Xbox. A very good face scan as well on this one. In addition to extras, you don't have the C-grip hands on him, but what you do have are the second hands. So I think that's, that's definitely, we've done that with some of the DX figures before, and it is a game changer. And then in addition, they didn't give you the damn bandana, but they did give you some X, oh, I can't even see it there. Just trust me, there's X-Pac shades. There we go. Um, so you can just fit them on and let's see if that makes them any any cooler, any different. I mean, it's all right. It, it's certainly not the, the best X-Pac I have, uh, but the, the sunglasses do add a little bit. But guys, we need a bandana on this head to make it complete, to make it accurate to the time. But uh, not, not a bad Xbox figure, just not, not my favorite. And then finally, we've got our Build-A-Figure with little pieces of this coming in each of the four figures. So we'll start off with the, the pants and the shoes and the, the belt on here, very standard for most of the sort of suited wrestling figures. You've got a torso here with the WWE logo and, and referee stripes. So you, I think you know where we're going. Snaps on really easily. You've got... Two, whoops, there we are. We got two arms, because uh, just having one probably would, would raise a lot of questions. So we'll snap those in here. And there you have the figure. Oh, we're probably missing something here. We're missing a head. So let's, but I, I will say, like you've got so many alternate heads in your elite collection. You could pop on anybody's head. So let's take an Undertaker, for example, just because I've got him out. I mean, it looks a little bit weird, but you could do that. You could use this as a body for, for special guest referees, I suppose. But no, the, the head that it actually is meant to come with is this one here. And look at this. You've got a WWE referee, John Cohn, and, which looks phenomenal. And I'm so glad we've got a current referee in this collection. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say you don't want these fists on him. You've got... One, two, three, four other pairs of hands here. So I'm just gonna pull them out and show you quickly. So you've got two hands that do the, the one count or you can just point at somebody. You've got two hands that do the two count, which is probably the most common one for a referee. You've got the three count, which you obviously need. And then you've got, what do we got here? Just a waving hand. Maybe that could. Maybe that's one of Xbox hands. I'm not sure. But um, you know, you've got lots of choice here, so you can you can get him ready for any type of action. I love this build a figure. It may be one of my favorites to this point, um, just because it's so it's original, it's different. I love the WWE logos on his on his shirt and on his uh, sleeve there as well. His facial expression is pretty awesome. And you stand him beside like an X-Pac even, and you can see there's a bit of a size difference there. You can especially do it if you're posing him beside Kane. There's there's definitely a size difference, but that's what you need in a WWE referee. So I'm, I'm super excited that I've got a current WWE referee in my Elite Collection. The SummerSlam 2024 Elite Collection is the bomb. Like I really, there, there is not a bad figure in the bunch. X-Pac is probably my least favorite. It's not bad. It's just, it's okay. Um, this Lex Luger is just stands head and shoulders above a lot of elite figures. But the Kane Undertaker are great. 
John Cohn is great. So this is this is a really cool set. I hope it gets you in the mood for SummerSlam. And you've been watching Bulldogs Unboxings. Mm -hmm.